Ambassonia has made it impossible for La Republic to be the sole power to impose taxes for the deployment of uh, for, for the for the having of force in in Ambazonia. We have our men who, through their bravery, in, in, they, they were able to attack. Uh, uh, the forces of the mountain lion were able to move into our capital. How many liberation you want us to take this call? Yeah, fine. You want us to take this call from Ground Zero? That's okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, comrade, we can hear you. Are you there? Uh, um, um. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? All right, move to the next. Yeah, the next just hello. All right, all right, comrade. Um, you are actually live right now, so you want to go ahead and ask your question? Yeah, good evening. Yes, I'm there. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, Dr. Yereba, can you hear him? Yes. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Good evening to Dr. Yereba Cho. Good evening to, to you as well. Good evening. Good evening, comrade. Yeah, please. I have just two questions for Dr. Ebacho. Come in, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, so the first uh, question is uh, regarding the, the phone raising, like uh, what we can supplement to the tax uh, issue. We know that we have uh, stopped some production of some areas like the uh, CDC and the uh, rest. Why can't we like uh, access those areas like create some people to like maybe work? Then we can generate money for them to support the the phone as well. Can there be a strategy that we can use some of those our resources within ourselves and have some people who can work on it because we can control it? If you have the power to stop that probably from working for me, it means you also have the power that we can also generate money from it. So can there be a means that we can also generate money from it? Then the second question says, we have been hearing even the outing of uh, Ambassador Tubonagi on this uh, a unified structure, a one voice. I want you to really explain to us uh, how that how they can that one voice can come into play because of this faction, faction, and the, how can we bring all those uh, factions together to have a unified voice, like which has been the cry for all Amazonia, so that the fighters also can have a, a, a break. Because they get one instruction from here, one instruction from there. Thank you, sir. Excellent All right, thank question. you. Sir. Yeah, e excellent, 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 and a challenging question. It's a challenge to leadership, <laughs> and he, he is right. And this is why the first question, and he said something. If you have the power to stop, <laughs> and then you can have the uh, powers also to create opportunities. The problem with this is when you, when you stop, you don't hold. Uh, when you when you want to create opportunities, you have to hold. Mm -hmm. It means if you want to get workers to work, they have to be stationary. They have to uh, they, they, you put the workers also in danger because it will show to the enemy that they work for you. So you actually need to control that territory. You need to control that territory. And that this this is fact of comrade. I, I can assure you that we discussed this the other day in different areas, not within uh, not not parasitas like the CDC, in in different areas with different assets and opportunities, and 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 I asked the the the, the generals, uh, what do we need to be able to uh, explore and exploit these assets? And the general said we need to control these places. Because once the enemy realizes you are able to generate resources through control, they will fight you a lot and you need to be prepared. So we are walking a fine line, not to use our people for productive purposes and then they go back home and they are killed or harmed. And not to create scenarios where we create permanent battlefields that we will need to defend, but will lack the resources to defend. So these, these funds that we are trying to mobilize is to create the condition for what you are asking to take place. If you want to employ people, you control that place and defend that place, they work for you, exploit those, those resources, you generate more, more funding, and then you are able to amass 
more wealth and to create more defensive mechanisms. So we are on the line with what you are saying. I would, I would, I would ask you to reach out to, to Dr. Mambo privately so that we can connect with you uh, because you sound like somebody that knows exactly how these things work. We would like to have more discussions with you to give us more ideas on how we can proceed. The, the next question is unified structure. It is possible. I can assure you, and I say this with great optimism, there are certain movements. Uh, we are a bit worried on uh, what Thibaut Nagy is talking about. Unified structure is, is dangerous five years into a war because the regime can easily infiltrate a unified structure and take it over through different means and direct the, 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 the struggle in the direction that it wants. So we would prefer at this moment to establish the conditions for, for, for collaboration, for consultation, to improve uh, positive communication out there, to make sure we can mobilize resources together, we can do diplomacy together, we can show our people that we have the willingness to work together. And as we, pro as we progress, moving forward in setting up a transitional authority, we must have built the conditions for trust and good faith approaches in dealing with complex issues. So it will happen sometimes, but we should walk carefully because the enemy is at play to inject Trojan horses within our midst. Okay, great. So you have a lot of um, you have a lot of <laughs> calls coming in, especially from ground one and uh, ground zero. Um, but you have somebody right now online, comrade. Go ahead. Okay, this is comrade Michael now. Uh, first, oh. I want to. It is ACN for the wonderful work. Um, and I thank Dr. Ayabacho for taking out the time to always um, listen to the people and answer their questions. Please, my question is, um, since Egg of C, uh, ADF, um, showed us that they have, we have areas which is under our control, why is it that we are not seeing our flag why is it that the amazonian flag is not being seen on this area that we call liberated areas why are our flags not flying 24 hours what is the challenges that the flags not there thank you so much thank you um comrade nam um uh, cic let me take a couple of other calls maybe like two more okay. and then we yes i think it will go quickly that way um Uh, sorry um okay there it goes um comrade you're live go ahead and ask your question hello Okay, this person is still connecting. I am assuming they have network problems. Okay, another person. Hello, um, you're live. Go ahead, comrade. We can hear you. You're live. Go ahead and ask your question. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I am taking another call. Hello. Yes, good evening, Madam. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good. All uh, right. Good evening, CIC. Good evening, good comrade. Evening. Yeah, yeah. Shake, shake, no day. Shake, shake, no day. Um, so go ahead and ask your uh, question, comrade. <laughs> Yes, uh, please. I want to ask uh, some pertinent question. I don't know if uh, that will be answered here, but uh, I want to know one thing. Uh, we talked about uh, collaboration in uh, Ground Zero, where we saw no pity and we unity uh, warriors together. And uh, are you getting me? We are getting you loud and clear. Is the CIC getting him? Yes. Yes. Go ahead, comrade. We can hear you. Okay. Uh, talking about the unity, uh, I realize that uh, 
there are some fighters that goes with uh, no PT and their AGF fighters. And uh, when Abu Bay happens to have uh, uh, to have fall, we did not hear him say anything. And uh, it has happened before as well. How is this unity really moving on? Because we don't know exactly why he is not saying anything, whether we are talking about unity. And the second question goes to this. We talked about uh, refugees and uh, displaced persons to other countries, and we talked of Dubai. Uh, in Dubai, I think this is the most difficult uh, town I've noticed in maybe somehow countries that I know. And we talked of seeing about how uh, those that are in Dubai can be uh taken to another level for resettlement or to see how they can bring them up to a certain level to move to other places which are safe because i realize so many people in dubai really wants to support the struggle but their conditions in dubai is not the best and they can't even talk because this uh dubai when you you can find yourself back home at any time okay was that so Thank you. Okay, thank you, Comet. Um, uh, Dr. Yama, let's take one more and then we'll go from there. Yes, Comet, you're live. We can hear you. Hey, good evening, Dr. Mambo. Good evening, sir. And, um, good evening, Dr. Cho. Uh, this is your uh, former spokes from the Netherlands, Dr. Cho. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dr. Cho, for yeah. coming out. Yeah. Um, being explicit to your people you know i think you should be doing this much more regularly please and uh i also want to commend you for the wonderful job you are doing just like the hot air spewing around about noise this and that but ldf nobody can bet on ldf that is for sure so i have <laughs> one question here and then maybe a follow-up dr joe yeah yeah what is that thing more, more more important right now equally is this uh, talk of uh, collaboration i wish to know if your office has uh, reached out to the um uh, Sako, Anu, A, um, ig for any possibility of uh, collaboration so that we move this stage forward because our people are dying so we get a formidable voice and move forward and then secondly that maybe this could be out of the normal question i know should the republic do cameroon just be chased out of our land today and we should understand also that all our energy resources like you know electricity come out from the republic only because it dismantle our own should they switch off the their lights and how is there any strategy the egg of C or maybe a collaboration of the other team could come together and then are working on seeing that uh, we should not suffer from electricity for some while thank you very much and then hey happy new year to your respective family the doctors thank you so you. much sir happy new year to you <laughs> all right cic over to you all right thanks uh that's my public relation officer pro I'm so glad uh, to hear your voice. Let me start with Comrade Michael Nam. We have our flags flying, Comrade. It's just that, you know, you are not there, so you can't see. And if you want to see permanent symbols of, of our presence and control is in our forces. They are there. They are not in the jungle somewhere. They are... They are driving on highways, they are moving on bikes, and, and that, that, that is a sign to show they control large uh, uh, areas of land. To move from uh, uh, Ambazonia to take operations in La Republic, you pass through so many areas, and that's not controlled by, by La Republic. I was just thinking I, I will get the War Council Chairman to immediately get the General to raise a flag and get a video and send so you can see, but <laughs> nobody seems to, nobody seems to be available so comrade what i'm saying about control is not imaginary you saw during october one thousands of our people including students including the uh, forces uh, the population marching i really want you people to see this thing as tangible as real if we are still imaginary that 
liberation would be like the allies uh, march into germany with military force and took it over no that's not how it's gonna come it, it comes in bits and pieces you take you claim you own you progress you institutionalize so that it becomes permanent so it, it has to be real in your head if it is not real if it is if it is still fictional if it is imaginary it will take a long time to become tangible i see or see if there was no buffer between me and Ambazonia, I will be in the territory now. And I will show you people from ground zero what it means to control territory. There are just some complications, you know, and we should know that. And this comes to the point where you hear some people say, oh, the ground zero the forces should take over. No, leadership is out here. To lead a liberation struggle is a complex endeavor. All those on the ground who are in a position to do it have either in jail or have escaped into exile. It doesn't mean our great fighters cannot do it. They can. Our country will not be only ruled by intellectuals. General Ifan can become president of Ambazonia. You know? Yeah. General Rambo can become president of Ambazonia. Saga can become. And every Ambazonia, whether educated or not, with a sufficient passion and advisors will be able to make an effective president. So uh, we control territory, and that is a fact uncontested. And, and, but we need to move from the dynamic control to static control where La Republic cannot penetrate our defenses. In that way, we'll achieve what our, our first caller asked, if we can stop, why don't we uh, create opportunities from what we have stopped? So uh, thanks, Comrade Michael. And number two, um, uh, the comrade asks why uh, no PT has not made a statement. I don't really want to get into these, uh, these in these in these nuances. I can't I can't tell if he has not made a statement. I know in the barrier of General Bube, uh, you had uh, representatives of the uh, Bui Unity Warriors. Now this is what I will say. Our forces are making are taking some baby steps to see that they can work together and they can share intelligence they can combine their arsenals to be more effective and more powerful and we should encourage it but we should not exploit it when if you people realize i step back when they are doing these things i step back and allow them to do it in good faith and i think if us as leaders we send our words of encouragement i spoke to no pity when uh, they had a very strong problem with Insubu, and I said, listen, I will not want blood to spill that Insubu has been killed by you people. I, I don't think it may achieve short-term objective, but it will have a, a long-term negative impact on us. If you people can find a way to resolve these differences, it will be better through peaceful means unless you are attacked then you can exercise your right to self-defense what is happening in Bui is an experiment that has happened before we have done general ivo has done the same things before in fako in Bui, in kupi maniguba in meme and different places it, people entered into these initiatives try to hijack it to divide it because they thought it was going to undermine their control we are seeing it in Bui, where you have leaders we have spokesperson saying ground zero should take over their aim is ground zero should cut listening from dr ayaba so that they can somehow assume control without effort and i think that is creating the environment for this collaboration to unravel because adf forces are loyal to their chain of command they are loyal to their chain of command and the identity of the ADF cannot be extinguished under any collaborative mechanism. So why ADF forces will enter into collaboration, they will still take, you know, command from, from the leadership because they are soldiers and they are led politically to achieve political independence. So I think they will improve. Uh, no pity is, will be talking. And so we should just give them time and, and, and monitor and help them to to succeed in, in terms of refugees in dubai uh my secretary for human rights and humanitarian affairs has been working 
on the resettlement program. We need to study if it's possible to resettle from Dubai. We need to study uh, that because Dubai might be considered uh, uh, a safe country where that, that, that cannot happen. So we need to study it. But there is also a possibility that if our people are threatened in Dubai, we Amazonians out here can begin to invite them to leave. So, comrade, I would ask you to reach out to, to send your number to the to, to Dr. Mambo, and that number will be provided to the HHS, and we will deal with individual cases. If we cannot remove all, even if we remove one, it will, it will be uh, 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 good for Amazonia, especially the vulnerable ones. It is possible for Amazonians out here to issue invitations to for people to leave and, and, and move out to more safe areas, and it's something that we will explore. Now, on the, on the question of... Uh, 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 pro, if I have reached out to the Sakos and the Chris Anus, yes, I have. I don't want to go into it uh, or more. There are there are there are there are movements on 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 many fronts, and I hope that, um, as I have said repeatedly, that this moment provides an opportunity uh, for for all of us. I reach out also to the consortium. I have asked the consortium um, that the League of Seal leadership wants a summit. With a consortium, um, I have also asked uh, my vice president to reach out to the uh, IGK for a summit between the A of C and the IGK, and there are many more that will be coming. This summit will give us the opportunity to talk and understand each other and look at different models that we can work on to to move forward. There are other initiatives that is um, the post Toronto perspective that we are working on, and I pray and I ask you, Amazonians to tone down the rhetoric, to be more positive, to see the good in, in, in what we have been doing. There are crimes that have been committed. People will be held accountable. Uh, but I also think that, as I said, when Putin and uh, Joe Biden sit and shake hands and look at each other in the face, it's not because they are friends. It's because they are looking for their both countries' opportunities for peace, stability, and continuity. But also in the midst of those relationships, uh, people who violate human rights, people who extort money, embezzlement, will be held accountable. And on the issue of a sudden collapse of La Republic, that's a tough one. I, that's the one question I don't really have an answer now. If we'll be able to generate enough energy to light our homes and to drive our economy, that's a tough one. And it's a challenge that I'll take into my economic council to see what we can do. Okay, perfect. So we... Hmm. Can we be begin to round up soon now? Do you want to take three more questions and we round up? Okay, three more. That's fine. Okay. Um, comrade, go ahead. We can hear you. Hello. Yes, we can hear you, comrade. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna go to somebody else. Ground zero is um. Hello, comrade. We can hear you. Hello? Okay, well, I guess I'm getting confused here with all. <laughs> all right, uh, round up, round up. Just ask if you have a last question, just ask so that I can move out of here. Um. Okay. Hello? Yes, go ahead, comrade. Okay, thank you so much for this opportunity. So my question to Dr. Ayabacho, first, I want to thank him for his resilience and steadfastness. And doctor, I want to ask you, what is the driving force that keeps you moving? Because I know someone like you have suffered a lot from bad lashes, being called names and stuff, but you have never given up for no one single day and you keep focusing on going ahead. What is it so peculiar in you that many ambassadors need to pick up and move this train ahead? And then secondly, you talked about not having permanent enemies because i see from your leadership and everything you are always about forgiving and always extending a hand to whoever calls you or whatever somebody does to you what is it in you that we need to know and can you talk more about that and what this is taking you to so that we can copy and move in this train thank you all right thank you comrade um comrade uh yeah go ahead please just be very brief with your question all right. Good evening, comrade. Good evening. Okay. 
Uh, my question is, uh, if we are working on economic sabotage, what is the fight to stop the importation of vehicles from Nigeria, from Benin Republic, into Amazonia through uh, Mamfe or ECOC? Because as of recent, the bees, the military are escorting those vehicles. All right, I think he went off right there. Um, comrade, go ahead, ask your question. Last question. Yeah, uh, good evening. I'm calling from Ghana. So uh, I want just to yeah, I want just to congratulate the Dr. Cho Ayaba for answering every question because uh, he has made people excited today for the collaboration uh, question and. So I have um I'm holding him in Peter Cola for men. So thank you, Dr. Cho <laughs> All right. Thanks, my man. All right. Um see I see please go ahead and answer those two questions. Uh thank you, comrade. Um see one of the things I came to realize is that each time we we are against collaboration it, no matter what we do ambazonians are not happy ambazonians have come to the conclusion even though i disagree with them that collaboration is necessary for them to be happy that is something that is is in the mindset of the ambazonians and i think it is important for us to acknowledge that and work towards that um i will work very hard extremely very hard to make sure we achieve a certain level of collaboration and it's 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 it's, it's already going on and so you should be you should rather than take one bitter color take two <laughs> and uh, now on uh, the driving force <laughs> Come <laughs> make me to be happy here. <laughs> See, drive people. I'm a happy man. <laughs> I remember one day. I'm I'm generally a happy person. Maybe you people know me more when I come on TV and I'm like uh, I'm gonna eat you raw. But I'm generally you need to see me at home with my kids who are running here. When I <laughs> when I came down from upstairs and I asked my, my 12 year old daughter, I said, uh, how do I look? He said <laughs> she made a joke. She made a joke. I was dressed up, and uh, we just laughed over it. And my son said that he go go have a jacket. And, and my daughter, she's a, she's an activist. She said, uh, "This is how Europeans dress, and they have the audacity to ban the hijab." And I was like, "Okay, <laughs> so okay, my upbringing." my upbringing is responsible for my happiness i am I, I, i'm a guy that i don't know how to hate i don't you can attack me for the rest of my life and i see you i'm still gonna give you a hug i don't have space in my heart for hate because it's a burden it's, 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 a, it's a burden to me i have adopted the method of flight rather than that of confrontation on on, on our own people so rather than confront our own people, I retreat. The only one I fight is the enemy that I've identified. And secondly, I try to understand people's motivation. Why is this person angry with me? Why is, uh, why is Chris Arnold attacking me all the time? I know why. It's a political strategy. You know? Do you think when Chris Arno talks to me in the background, he's attacking me? No. You think when Dr. Sako talks to me, he's attacking me? No. So why are they attacking me? It's a political strategy. And so I have to put that in context. Is it a nice way to be a human being? No. I, I, want, I want one day for you people to remember me as a good human being. Don't remember me as a good leader i fought for ambazonia i want ambazonians to remember me as a good human being that is all that is enough and i think that is a motivation for the way i conduct myself and i also know 
things don't last when you portray yourself as an angry bitter abusive sabotaging one day it's going to come to an end and you will meet the person that you really really hated and it is you to be ashamed of yourself so no permanent don't make don't make permanent uh, uh, uh enemies especially within the amazonian space you don't need to some of these people you've just known them in the past four years i have known the chairman of my war council for 25 years i've known my chief of staff for 19 years we have quarreled we have fought but the fundamentals of our relationship has been good even dr akwanga we've known ourselves in the trenches so why should i judge somebody only based on the moment we disagree what about the moments when they were nice what about the moments when they spoke well of me judge them from a holistic perspective and contextualize disagreement people disagree and adopt different char characters they hate because they want to achieve something so i think you people should adopt a compromising spirit you people should adopt a spirit of tolerance that is the ambazonian spirit communicate win by merit i want to win defeat you by merit of my ability i don't want to defeat you because i cheated on you or i tried to kill you and i think those are those are my driving uh, 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 forces in the way i conduct myself last question the comrade Ask race and yes the yes, comrade sir. race and the erase an important question i think you know from the trans um i think the transatlantic or uh, what do they call it again the highway where um we are monitoring that highway um i think the de the deputy defense chief received a recommendation three days ago on some actions on that highway so comrade keep your peace just keep your peace we are working we are working to deal with some of those issues that you have raised it might take us a bit of time, but we are going to deal with it. All right, Dr. Um, Ayab, I know we said last question, but I want you to take this question, actually. It's from a very, um, I think it's going to be one of a, a very good question. So go ahead, comrade, we can hear you. Yeah, this is Agustin Raymond, um, the Secretary for Human Rights and Humanitarian Services, Ambazonia Governing Council. This is not a question, I just want to add uh, more weight to uh, the CIC's response to the caller from Dubai um, on refugee resettlement. Yes, you can be ref you can be resettled as a refugee from any country in the world where you can prove that your safety in that country as a refugee, you know, is not guaranteed. Um, I have had a lot of discussions with Amazonians resident in uh, Dubai and the UAE in general and refugee resettlement is on a case-by-case -case basis and uh, the problem i've had with most of them is that um they are not registered as refugees in uh dubai if you mm. want to be considered for refugee resettlement the first qualification is that one you must have credible fear number two you must have you know applied as a refugee you must have sought political asylum in that country you cannot be resettlement on the basis as a refugee to another country if you are gainfully employed as a resident of that country. So most people in Dubai, to be honest, do not really qualify because they have uh, work visas and stuff like that. Uh, but there is a way out. We can cause a situation where Amazonians who are in the United States, in Canada, uh, in Europe or wherever, can send them invitation letters for visit, and through that way they can, you know, cross over to more stable uh, countries where you know they can be protected. So I just wanted to make that clear. Um, the caller should reach out to Dr. Mabo, and then uh, um, Dr. Mabo is going to lick us up. Thank you. All right, um, uh, Comrade Akosan, thank you so much. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, that is the Secretary for Human Rights and Humanitarian Affairs, uh, and that is. Um, that is the man that is the man that keeps me awake also <laughs> um apart from your peers okay well um <laughs> fellow, 
Fellow viewers, uh, we have come. I know a lot of you have been calling. We cannot take all your calls. I will try as much as possible to make myself available again to bring on um, Dr. Ayaba. Hopefully, he can um, create time for us to have another very um, uh, empowering discussion like we just had today. Um, Dr. Ayaba, thank you so much. Um, you, I, like I said, you know, from the beginning, I always learn a lot when you know you and i you know get on a one-on-one -on -one. so um thank you for joining us today if you have anything to closing remark to say before i kick you out of my studio that would be great <laughs> <laughs> shake shake you know day and uh, <laughs> my way no no go no absolutely uh, my people you are free believe in that freedom Take that freedom and institutionalize it and begin to think positively about how you want your country to be. We will have differences. Differences will escalate, but the basis of our coexistence cannot be on those differences. We can see how we can transform those differences, accommodate those differences, and we must always learn to make sure that uh, we can work together where we agree and respectively walk alone where we disagree and i can assure you that 2022 is going to be a positive year but it's not gonna work well if we don't commit we have to sacrifice more our level of sacrifice is weak we think freedom we talk freedom and that's cheap. We don't commit. I want, if you're on ground zero, join the forces. That's how you defend freedom. If you are in the diaspora, you are within the military, provide your services. I am shocked that Amazonians are still fighting for La Republic. I am shocked that you are still fighting for a genocidal re regime. I am shocked and disappointed the five years into this war, untrained heroes have defended blocks Why you are there enabling colonialism and being part of the perpetuation of the crime of genocide. It's a disgrace and history will not look kindly on you. For all of us in the diaspora, your devotion cannot be as a result of what you have to spare. You have to make sure you commit to our liberation. God bless you. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Ayaba. Are you committing to another interview sometime in the nearest future with me? Uh, yes, uh, with you, I can't say no. <laughs> oh, that's very flattering, but thank you though. Um, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ayaba, for joining me today. I appreciate you. Um, but fellow viewers, again, thank you so much. I know we have been on here for um, a good number of hours and um, I know you all are exhausted and uh, but I again just want to thank you all and for our fellow viewers um, wherever you are especially those on ground zero I know some of you called we're not able to take your calls um, because we had a short uh, time but hopefully next time we will absolutely take all the calls necessary um, ground zero we thank you we appreciate you um, our liberators on ground zero that are picking up those arms and protecting women and children we give you all the praise we thank you because you are out there facing the barrel of a gun every day so that we can have a free Amazonia, so that we can be able to have children that are in competitive school that go to have an education that is competitive globally um, so that we can be able to have a healthcare system where it is accessible by every single Amazonia, be you a child, a woman, a man, an older person, whoever you are, we are you're doing this because you want us to have a good healthcare system, to have good infrastructures, good roads, good, you know, um, uh, administrative system buildings and all those things good economy so that we can strive and live in peace and abundance so thank you so much liberators on the ground for putting your life on the ground for putting your you know facing the barrel of a gun every single day so that we can have all these things we appreciate you we thank you for all the prisoners of war 
huh, we someday, someday we all are gonna join our hands and sing freedom, freedom. Right, yes, someday we all are going to do that for the refugees, wherever you are, on ground zero, ground one, or in Ghana, wherever you are, we know where you are, we see you, and we are doing every single thing possible to bring you all back home in one piece and bring you all back home in a country that you all can be able to live and, and sing its glory and be like the shining stars above. So thank you all so much. You all have a blessed Sunday and have a wonderful rest of your week. And 2022 is going to be the year for Amazonians. Like Dr. Ayabacho Lucas said, fund the struggle, fund the revolution, and gain your freedom. Peace out. Thank you. ACN TV. We will be right back.